Hello and welcome. Yesterday, the euro continued to decline against the US dollar as expected. Its recent upward movement caused by the third meeting turned out to be false. Bulls failed to take the lead above 1.0640 and the euro came under pressure again, which led to another major sell-off. The price has not yet reached annual lows, but a breakout of 1.0519 support level will make this scenario possible. Moreover, today's macroeconomic calendar is full of important releases from the United States that could back up the greenback. However, before considering today's news releases in detail, I would like to say a few words about yesterday's meeting of the Bank of England. According to the trading chart, the British pound tumbled following the Bank of England meeting. Likewise, its movement met my expectations. As I thought, the regulator took a dovish stance and raised its interest rate rate only by 25 basis points to 1% even despite surging inflation. Notably, economists forecast inflation would rise above 10% this year. The UK labour market is overheating. Many employers are forced to increase wages. All this results in another pickup in inflation and an overheated economy. This, the market reaction to such a decision, was predictable. As for today's macroeconomic calendar, it includes reports on industrial production in Germany and retail sales in Italy. Besides, ECB and Bank of England members are set to speak today. However, they will hardly say anything new. Thus, their statements will not help the era of the British pound recoup losses. The key focus will be on US jobs data. The unemployment rate is anticipated to decline to 3.5%. In addition, traders should take notice of non-farm payrolls. Consensus economists are looking for non-farm payrolls to increase by 390,000 in April. If the indicator disappoints market participants, this will signal that the US Federal Reserve has chosen the wrong track, taking an aggressive approach to monetary policy. All these may further aggravate the situation in the US labor market. In the event of upbeat data on non-farm payrolls, both the euro and the pound sterling will collapse. Furthermore, VOMC member John Williams will deliver a speech today. From a technical point of view, I think it's worth focusing on the levels of 1.0519 and 1.0563. A false breakout at 1.0519 will make it possible to buy the euro-dollar pair counting on the correction to 1.0563. At this mark, Traders may consider short positions amid a false breakout. If bulls show subdued trading activity at 1.0519, at this price breaks below this level and tested from the bottom up, a strong signal will be created. In this case, the euro may hit the annual low of 1.0473 following US jobs data. In the event of a false breakout, the European currency will most likely plunge to 1.0426 and 1.0394. At these levels, it will be possible to go long on the rebound with a view to catching an intraday correction of 15, 20 pips. At the level of 1.0473, I recommend opening long positions only amid a false breakout. If the price breaks above 1.0563 and tested from the top down, the euro will have a chance of returning to 1.0601 and 1.0646. At the mark of 1.0646, short positions on the rebound will be relevant following the release of data on US non-farm payrolls. Alternatively, it will be possible to go short amid a false breakout at 1.0601. 
Speaking of the British pound, the trend remains bearish. The pound dollar pair continues to hit annual lows. Moreover, there are no signs of a possible rebound. A false breakout at 1.2325 will be create a buy signal. If the price breaks above 1.2383 and tested from the top down, it will be wise decision to go long, counting on the correction to 1.2442 and 1.2505 at the level of 1.2505, even in case of downbeat data on US non-farm payrolls, I recommend going short on the rebound with a view to catching an intraday correction of 35 40 pips. Short positions at 1.2442 can be considered only a metaphors breakout. If bears are able to protect 1.2383 in the first half of the day and the price returns below this level following a correction to 1.2405, traders will be able to sell the pair. In this case, the British pound will most likely break through 1.2325 and then continue its decline towards 1.2256 and 1.2185. At the level of 1.2185, it will be possible to go long on a rebound, hoping for an intraday correction of 30 35 pips. Long positions at 1.2256 can be opened only in the case of a false breakout. Good luck and have a nice weekend.